So here we are back in Vivaland and back at our dream home. Now in the first episode, you would have seen I built the bottom floor and I'm really happy with it. We've gone with like industrial and modern kind of theme and we're going to take that theme straight onto the second floor as well obviously we need to build some stairs in the hallway and we're going to take it up build our bedrooms we're going to have an extra bedroom a child's bedroom yeah and i'm really excited to build in this game back in vivaland if you've not already seen the first episode describing what this game is all about and how to get this game by the way this game is free then go and check it out i will link in the description down below Alright, the first thing we need to do to build the second floor is obviously build some stairs leading up to the second floor in this Sims-like game. If you've not seen this game before, it is called Viva Land, and it pretty much is The Sims. And the best thing about it is free to play, and you've got more options than The Sims. I don't want to like slay on The Sims here because I love The Sims game, but this game, if the developers keep going with this game and they get the quick funding, it could turn out to be something very special. Not being paid to say this, something what I found on my own this game on the Steam Workshop page. And I'm really enjoying playing it, which is the main thing. All right, now the stairs are on, it was time to go into this speed build segment of this video. It took me so long to build this. I think the first floor took me six hours. And I would say this floor took me about eight. So you're getting a long, uh, a long majority of playtime out of the out of a game. What's free? I know I keep saying it's free and bragging that it's free, but it just blows my mind that developers have been able to do this. All right, second floor. We're gonna just build the walls around the same walls what we have initially got in and try to separate them into into bedrooms so we're going to have the kids bedroom to the left we're going to have the hallway which is above the original hallway in the middle and we're not going to have much in the hallway really i thought I've, i cornered this end bit off thinking right i'm going to build um a, a toilet there but i thought no it just doesn't look right and that would be a hell of a small toilet and you're coming right up the stairs into a wall and i didn't like that i wanted it more open plan so i built this extra extra room here and this is going to be the ensuite bathroom so we're going to have the main bedroom with the ensuite bathroom and then at the top here we're going to have an office next to that like kind of like all entwined as well now at the front there you would see i started with a little overhang what i've just deleted and that was an idea of mine to build kind of like a balcony area i wasn't sure actually how to implement that into the game how the game mechanics worked for me to create a balcony we do end up doing it though towards the end of the video so stay tuned if you are playing this game of how to build a balcony area because it was a little bit tricky right we've got our main wood down in the hallway I believe this is the same wood what we used um, on the lower ground as well. And now we're just trying to figure out what kind of flooring we want in the different rooms and making everything look nice and modern, industrial style, but very well done and clean as well. I think the messiest bedroom is obviously going to be the kids' bedroom. If you don't know a little bit of personal information about myself, I have got a child. I've got my little boy who's eight years old. And this is my dream home in this game. So I'm trying to create what I would love to live in. So obviously my little boy has got to have a room. I've got a big bedroom with the ensuite and then an office where I can make videos like the videos you're watching here. I, th I think I might be too into this game at this point. Um, and it's actually making me want to play The Sims 4 again. Um, I've not played it for a while, you know, and I didn't really get too into it. The Sims 2 and The Sims 3, I was really into them, but The Sims... The Sims 4, I couldn't, I couldn't really get into it. I just don't know what it was. Um, the simulation part for me is not the be all and the end all. It's the, it's the building. This is what I love doing, building stuff. And that's why I love building stuff in Planet Zoo as well. If you've seen any of my Planet Zoo stuff, any games will help me get creative and let me build stuff freely like this. I absolutely love. It's like painting, but in a virtual world, if that makes sense. Right, the middle part. We went this with the same texture on the outside. And then I saw some things were in the garden. I thought that shouldn't be right, so I moved them back in. We've got a space above the garage. We're just going to put a roof there, what you can see me doing now. And now the roofing, I really didn't realise how it actually works. I overcomplicated it for myself. So I thought this is, I need to like layer them down just like you would do in like Planet Zoo or Planet Coaster, like you can see me doing here. And I thought they're not lining up. It's not looking good. I don't the overlapping. You've got crossfighting, which is the twitching you can see in the different materials. That's called crossfighting. You also get that in Planet Zoo if you don't lay your stuff correctly. And I thought it's just not looking good. Then I thought, right, is this a bug? Do I need to report this at the end of the day? And then I thought, wait a minute, you can just drag it. Look at that. You can literally put one piece down and drag it to your size. And I thought, oh my god, 
It's kind of the same situation what you get in Prehistoric Kingdom as well, and I thought that's just absolutely brilliant that you can just resize any objects, including roof pieces, just as simply as that. I wanted this middle part here, this hallway part, to be bigger than the rest of the house, kind of like stand out, and this roof just worked perfectly, especially when I realised you can just stretch it to how you want it. Um, I had to put multiple roofs down here because we had a little enclave, didn't we, where it goes in, where our balcony area is. So I did have to put multiple um, roofs down and then stretch them how I wanted them. I thought of creating kind of like a pitch roof and then when I actually put it in, it just didn't look right at all. So we went with the flat roof and the flat roof looks more modern. It fits the theme as well, doesn't it? All right, what I want you to do now is go in the comment section below and let me know, are you playing this game? If, is it something what you've picked up? And if you have, are you enjoying it? Because that's the main thing. Are you enjoying playing it? And you've got to remember, this is only the first aspect of this game, the building aspect. We are get the simulation aspect later on. Where we're going to get our, I nearly said sims then, would you call them sims? We're going to get our characters in the game and they're going to have needs like bladder needs and everything you would expect from the sims. I know I keep mentioning the sims, I really need to stop doing it and give this game credit for what it is because it is brilliant. But yeah, are you looking forward to it? Are you playing it currently? And what do you think about it? Um, all my social media links will be in the description down below as well as the Discord. So if you want to join the Discord and talk about this game and other games like this game, then feel free to do so. You can also share images of what you've built. Let me see your houses. If you're into Planet Zoo, let me see what you're building in Planet Zoo. You've got a showcase section in the Discord for that or you can share them on social media to me. Right, just adding the windows on the top floor now and we just kind, kind of went simple really with the same windows the same modern theme windows that will be used on on the bottom floor i love this hallway because i love how open it is it's just very open plan and it's a lot of light coming in from both directions i kind of pictured myself kind of like sitting in front of these windows at night with a nice book um i don't know why i just said that because i don't really read books but yeah, I'm sure when I'm older, I'll read books when I retire. But yeah, just like sitting there, chilling out, nice cup of coffee or a nice glass of wine. And, and just watching the world go by through one of these massive windows and looking up to the stars would be lovely. Talking about coffee, I've currently got a coffee, which I'm just going to take a nice sip of. If you know me, anything about me, you know I love my coffee. Right, the first bedroom we're going to build is the little boy's bedroom, the children's room. So again, we're going to go with that modern theme, but we're going to make it look like, the, honestly, this kind of looks like the bedroom my little boy has in real life and kind of the bedroom I would love to have if I was a little boy again. We're going to go with the wardrobes, wardrobes again, modern theme, and I'm just playing about with different items, seeing what look good, seeing what fit, seeing what I can do, um, and, and seeing what everything suits in. You will see that the roof is just poking out there, so let's it back in which is a brilliant thing about this game you could just move it just like that and resize a whole roof piece and i've just said that but it is brilliant right we're gonna have a little games console there of course it's a little boys room we need a games console we want them to be the new fortnite champion after all and earn us loads of money in tournaments don't we? right and then we're gonna add some kind of like cube storage i started adding it on this side and i thought you can't really get to it on this side of the bed could you and you're gonna be banging your knees and there's not enough room, I tried moving things around and I thought it just looks a hell of a lot better if I have it on the right hand side next to the wardrobe. We're going to have a little kind of like a side unit again, cube style as well. We're going to change the colours as well because we want it blue. We want a little bit of colour in there because everything does look very, even though it does look very nice and modern and stuff, it just all same isn't it? A lot of blue and the wallpaper on the walls while the paint is blue as well. Now, the one thing what annoys me about this game is there's, there's not enough building options. I understand this is like, kind of like beta, isn't it? It's early access. So there's not going to be a lot of building styles. But the curtains is really the thing they need to focus on here for the windows. I couldn't get a curtain to fit in, apart from a blind. Right, just adding a little decor now. So we're going to add a pillar. We're going to recolor that to blue as well to fit the same theme as the bed and the walls. And then little accessories like wires and alarm clocks. And I'm going to add some ornaments and some trophies. Like maybe they've been to the swimming or the boxing or the karate or something like that the children add some trophies onto the shoe boxes obviously so they can have the new style of shoes and obviously we need to add some messy messiness don't we it's a little boy's room so let's add some messy clothes onto the bed just like that and then again with the ornaments and the mirrors and stuff like that adding all the decor you would find in a normal bedroom regardless if not if it's a child's bedroom 
We've got the CV, we've got a little plant in the corner, and that, you know, all of that is, is pretty much done. We're going to add that above the bed, a little, like, to-do list and month list, like a little corner here, like an artistic corner, to make sure they're not forgetting what chores they've got for the week. And, yeah, just adding little bits and bobs, like lamps and stuff like that, and little light at the side of the bed, and that pretty much concludes this room the rest of the room is going to be in stop motion to speed this video up a little bit because i am quite concerned that this video is going on for quite a long time at this point so if you are still watching thank you very much for watching a final little touch for me was adding um, like a bin and we're gonna kind of look for stuff what we've got downstairs and i like to do this what we've got downstairs what we can put upstairs little stereo unit here for all the children's music as well, we're going to add some hanging plants for a little bit of extra decoration and we're going to add some books and magazines and uh, these little bits i always say it's the little bits what matter when building stuff in in simulation games and it's these little these little touches really do help bring the whole build alive and this whole room alive in this case and with the books being added with that being said this concludes this room now we're going to go into stop motion imagery of the other rooms and see how i created them just a little side note here, while I was creating my office, which I'll show you how I created in a minute, I found out you can actually put objects in objects. So I managed to put this stereo into this unit and it kind of looks like it's built in. Just a little bit of an extra tip for you if you are playing this game. Right, let's go into the office and how we built it. On this bottom corner, you're going to see a sofa and a table and a lamp. And then we've got the office desk, the chair, the rug, the plant, everything you would find in an office, keeping it very modern. TV on the wall and then that unit, what we just talked about, add some plants on the top, add some... Um, some storage space at the back and you've got the office the side of the office we wanted the bathroom we're going to keep it very industrial with this and really happy how it came out looking so we're going to go with a lot of black whites and kind of like gold elements as well i'm going to add the sink there we're going to add some modern storage again with that industrial look you'll see that the toilet is currently backwards don't worry about that that's just what happens when i try to create these stop stop motion imagery pictures i don't know why it does it so we need to change that around but kind of added a little kind of like black wooden wall as well and i'm really happy how this came out bathroom this is my dream bathroom if i was to have an house of my own which i bought i currently rent i don't own an house and then the main bedroom again wardrobes to the left mirrored wardrobes lovely little bed keeping that same theme as well and that same colours I did the two rugs I kind of wanted to make it look a little bit more comfy so that's with the thicker rug as well in this room adding the curtains again you can't have a curtain on the other side which is really annoying like I tried to enlarge it and try to cover the window and it just it just didn't work it was so frustrating you really need to up the curtain game Viverland up your curtain game if you any of the developers watching this video I don't know I'm saying that because you're not you're not watching this video but if there's some chance you see this video at this start time point then add some more curtain options please yeah right uh, the bed at the bottom of the bed i kind of one like do you know like you have these beds and like you have a tv what pops up out of the bed i don't know if you've seen them you, the, in like posh hotels you get them and stuff and you can actually buy them but it's like an all-in-one bed and tv pops out i kind of wanted that obviously we've not got that in the game currently so i had to like create that and you can see me just changing the wood color to a wood color and then thinking no actually it doesn't look right it doesn't fit the room so i changed it all back again and that's what i always say if you're not happy with something change it so at the bottom of the bed we went with that tv it doesn't look like it pops out of the bed unfortunately we can't have that but i wanted a tv at the end of the bed like that because honestly watching movies in bed is so satisfying i do it a hell of a lot in my own life so yeah right balcony wise after we finished pretty much finished the bedroom i did all the little decorations stuff you already seen me add like plants and little sofas and stuff and this is how you create it so you have to turn a wall invisible you can't have the gate plush to the end of the wall you have to have it in which is quite annoying because it's got like a quite a big gap and then i added these um these posts as well you don't have to actually add these posts for it to be able to work but i thought add them and make it look more realistic but yeah, that's how you add it. You have to just turn one of the walls invisible and then add a gate, but inwards. Adding that big patio door now, what's going to lead onto the balcony and then thinking about what you would actually have on a balcony and thinking, would you have a bench? Maybe you would. Um, so I had this kind of like little bench. I didn't want like a full like garden bench, but this is like an outdoor bench. And then I thought gondola or shaded area and it just wasn't enough room. It is a small balcony after all. 
I did think about doing um, like a lap around balcony the, around the whole front of the house but honestly I, at this point I was pretty much done with this build and I just wanted to get it finished and wanted to see how the house came out looking as the whole so I just added a little bit of lighting added a little bit of more plants and stuff like that and then it was pretty much done our balcony is done and then I zoomed out and thought wait a minute where's my front door where's my windows on the bottom floor see the roof is done the roof is looking good but how come i've got no garage oh uh, yeah this happened i don't know what happened or what i did but everything deleted apart from the lights in the garage in the kitchen from the bottom floor all the wallpaper all the floors all the furniture everything you could think of deleted itself or i did but i don't know how, how i realized how i did it but yeah i'm gonna add these back in take a few pictures and then post them pictures on my social media. But my name's Adam. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. And if you're into creative games like this and building games, then if you're new around here, subscribe. You might as well. Hit that notification bell. And I will catch you in the next Viva Land video. Maybe.